This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Atlas guide. Today I'm going to show you how to build the armored brig you see behind me. Let's get to it. So you're going to start off with your brig shell and you're only going to put the bottom deck on. We have to build this in layers because the uh, decks as they go up cause collision issues with pieces that we are going to be placing. Okay, so we're going to start off with the back end here. So we're going to take a wall here and just to keep our place more or less and you're going to count back three so one two three right there and you're going to place a sloped roof right there then you're going to go on the opposite side and you're going to do the same thing and then from there you should be able to get it to do that so you're going to do that and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side this is going to build the bottom layer so then we're going to just cover both sides all the way out until you can't build it okay and once you get to that last piece you probably don't need to do this but i like to do it just build a second one there on the ends of each of them like that so you should end up having that right there Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to complete the back half. So from here, you are going to take your triangle pieces. You're gonna make sure it's angled in. You're gonna place two of them. Then you are going to take the full slope roof. You're gonna place two of those. Then you're gonna swap back to the triangle pieces and you're gonna place one. And the next one you place, you want to angle in and then you can build in from there. I just take it in like that, so just take it in two. So just build the one, have it angled a normal, I guess you could say, and then hit Q to angle the other one in, and then you can place like that. So we'll do it one more time here. So we're going to go from this piece right here, and I'm flying because, and I know somebody's gonna say something, so I'm going to mention it now. I'm flying because I have to keep going back and forth you know, like this. And looking at what I've done over here, you're not going to see that because I'm going to keep cutting it out, but that's why I'm flying. You can build this whole thing without flying. It's, it's fine. You don't have to be flying. Okay, so we're going to go one, two. Then we're going to take the slow pieces, go like that. And then we're going to go back to our triangle piece, build one, line up there, hit Q to angle it in. So now you have this situation that we have going on here. It should look like that. Now at this point we are going to put on our next deck piece. So make sure you're lined up there and it should go like that. And then you should see the outline there. See how that clips through there? That's why you end up with the uh, collision. So that's why we have to build it the way we're building it now. Okay, from this point, we are going to put a wall there and a wall there like that. Then we're going to grab our ceiling pieces and we are going to transform those into the triangles and we are going to do that. So you should have that uh, shape there. So we'll do one more, just two triangles like that. And then from this point, we can take our sloped roof pieces and we can do that there. So you put one at the top and one angled at the bottom like that. We're gonna take these bottom pieces. We're going to place one more on each side like that. And then we are going to transform it to the triangle piece, angle it in. Count one, two, and three. Oh, nope, that placed the wrong way. You do not want it to place outwards like that, so we'll try that again. Sometimes it gets a little finicky. There we go. So then you should have three triangle pieces, and then you take your fourth one, and you make sure that it is angled in like that. Okay, so then we're going to come over here, and we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three. Well, well, I don't know why he wants to place like that. And then hit Q on the last one and angle it in like that. 
Now we're going to do a new technique that I discovered that allows us to just shift things ever so slightly. So we're gonna to go to our triangle pieces. See how this snaps like that? So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do it one more time. So you're gonna have two like that and you're overlapping this piece here, but that's fine, that's just more armor. Then we're going to go to this, the normal slope roof pieces and now we can build out from that point there. So it just gives us a slight shift from where we're at. Now, this armor should protect really well on most parts. There's a few parts like right here where the ship bows out where you can see that we're not getting a lot of coverage. You get coverage from the top pretty well. So if you have cannonballs coming down this way, you're fine. But if they shoot under here, they're probably going to hit the planks a little bit. But the uh, roof pieces intersect with the planks, so you should get that nice... Uh, evenly distributed damage effect instead of one plank being hit. So anyway, uh, we're gonna continue the build here. So you just build out until you get to this point here to where it's like almost equal. Don't, don't keep building, we'll get to this later. Just build out to this point here. And we're gonna do the same thing here on the other side. So we'll go right to the middle here. We'll hit T till we get to our triangle piece and get it to snap in that direction there. Hit Q to line it up there. Just steps it out just a little bit. And now we can just place out like this. And then once we get almost lined up there, we in that spot there and we'll come back to the, we're gonna do the end there or the, uh, the front of the ship all at one go. All right, so now we're going to do the next layer. So grab your half wall. We're gonna come here to where we stepped it out one and we're gonna place a uh, half wall right there. Go over here to the other side, do the same thing. So I like to go like right where we stepped it out at, which was right here. Go to our half wall, and then we'll place that like so. And then we can go back to our sloped pieces. We'll start there, and we will not do that. We will line them up properly and take it all the way to the end on both sides. So once you get to the end, that should line up with your previous layer. You can just stop it right there. We will go and complete the uh, the end there in just a second. So then we're going to do the same thing. Go until you get to the front and that lines up with your last layer. Okay, so at this point, you should have something that looks like this. Let me see if I can just uh, do a nice pan around here. So this is what you should be left with at this point. Okay, now we are going to complete the back part of the current topmost layer. So we're going to take our just straight sloped roof piece and you're gonna go one, two, like that. So it should, that last one should line up with your last square piece on that side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so one and two. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the triangle roof piece and we're gonna angle that in like that and go one, two, and three. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to take a square roof piece, place one on each side. Then we're gonna go back to the triangle roof, make sure that it is angled in like that and then you end up with that there. Then what you can do for a little extra added bonus protection is you can place the square pieces like that, place one there. Just give you a little extra bonus there, it just extends over the backside there a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to build our top piece, so we're gonna take our square roof piece and angle that down from that spot on both sides. And we'll place one towards the back on both sides. And then we're just gonna build out towards the front. And then when you get to the front, your last one's gonna overlap that last section there just a little bit, like your whole row that you have here. You can see it's not quite even, that's fine. Just stop when you get to that point there. Once again, the front's its own beast. We'll handle that here in a minute. So we're going to continue to build around on the other side till we get to the same stopping point. Okay, so for the back side of this one, we are going to go to our triangle roof pieces 
and you want to make sure they're angled in. You're going to go one, two, and then we're going to place the flat roof piece like that. We're going to do, no, not like that. That place in the entirely wrong spot. We're going to place it like that. So you should have that situation there. We're going to do the same thing here on the other side. Triangle roof piece. Make sure it's angled in. Go one, two, and then flat roof piece. Just like that. Okay, so now that's the situation we have going on there. And then to complete that, we're going to go to our triangle piece again. And we're going to angle it all the way in. And then we have that situation there. And then you should be able to get it to angle again if you move around a little bit. So we'll do the same thing and then angle it in again. And then we can just walk that on inside with the triangle pieces when they actually want to place. Okay, so for some reason, I can't get the... Okay, there they go. Never mind. They weren't placing. This one's not placing now. They do, they do place. There we go. Okay, so then you have that situation there uh, where they come in. And at this point, you can bring them all the way in and do that there. So then that, that closes off a good chunk of the back. This back part here is a little bit more difficult to deal with uh, because it's just the... The area which it's out of bounds is extremely close to this and I can't really find a way to cover it. But you cover the majority of it, so you're going to cover the lower planks there, but this top one uh, may take a little bit of cannon fire. Now we are going to build the front, so we're going to go all the way to the front. You're going to take your wall piece, you're going to make it a half wall, and you're going to place it like that. And then we're going to take our ceiling pieces transform it to the triangle piece and then essentially what we're doing is we're we're bisecting the bisect here <laughs> this ship actually splits right down the middle but what we want to do in this situation is bisect that again to get to the middle and in order to do that you just place the triangle pieces until you can place two square pieces like that and then that allows you to change where the center is so that's what we're doing here so then we're just going to place another one like that and then we'll fill in that last one there just so everything's nice and pretty okay so now once you've done that you should have a snap point right there and right there like that okay so at this point it starts to get crazy so what we're going to do is we're going to place two of the square sloped roof pieces like that and where's come on snap to the right spot it will snap there you may have to like wander around a little bit to get it to place and then we're going to do it again like that and then we're going to take our half wall piece and we're going to place a half wall on both of them now what we're going to do is on the side closest to the front we're going to place a square sloped roof then we're going to transform it to the triangle and we're going to place two triangle pieces and then we are going to place another square one then we're going to go to our half wall yeah I know it gets it gets ridiculous so then we're going to place our half wall like that now we're going to start stacking those pieces so we will do I can get it to snap ones like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we will take the one closest to the front, place our square piece, then go to the triangle piece, place two triangles if it'll go the right way. Like so, then place another square piece then go to the wall transform it to the half wall place it there and then go to our square pieces now you should have that okay got a good look at what's going on there let me get a look from the back side there you can pause there if you're confused on what to do 
that's how that should look okay so we're gonna take the second row up this bottom row is pretty much done for I can't figure out how to get around the uh, clipping there so we're gonna go one row up and you're going to take your triangle roof pieces and then you're going to angle that in and go one, two, and three like that. And then you're going to take the straight piece and go like that. We're going to do the same thing over here. Triangle one, two, and three, and then square piece like that. So there's that row done. So the next row up, once again, we're going to take the triangle pieces and we're going to line those up and go one, two, three three, four, and five. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, and then five. And then at that point, you can just put a square piece on the ends of each of those. So you can see the front starting to come together. I told you it was its own beast and I wasn't lying like this. This is insanity. This took me forever to freaking figure out. So then we're going to add a, another row here. So what we're going to do is go to our half wall and you're going to place your half wall right there like that. And then you're going to place two of the squares like that. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And this is like just kind of a little additional front armor here. So we're going to do the same thing there. So then at this point, it should look like that. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to build out one more and then we're going to take the triangle pieces and then just angle there, those like that. And then you can just take those up to about right there should be good like that. You can probably take it all the way to the front if you want and we'll come back to that front because there's a few things that we can do here to cap off this end and uh, we'll talk about that when we have the build mostly done. So we're going to do that, go to the triangle pieces and then just kind of take those out along this way until we get to that point there. Okay, so now we are going to complete the topmost layer. So you're going to take your square roof pieces you're going to go one, two, and three. Then you're going to take your triangle roof, go one, two, and then three, then square roof one, then back to triangle, make sure it's angled in, and then one, two, three, like that. Same thing on this side. We'll take the square sloped roof, one, two, three, transform it to triangle. Go one, two, angle it in, three, back to square, back to triangle. Make sure that it is sloped in, one, two, and then three, like that. So, and then once you're to this point, you can take your square roof piece and then you can do that situation there. That should provide with a good bit of cover. And then you, you can also take and do like that, and just go go crazy make sure you have like plenty of extra cover and then down here and this is all optional at this point how you want this to look you it's hard to get it to intersect at that point because there's so much overlapping but what you can do is you can overlap them like that just kind of crisscross them i know it's ugly it's not symmetrical but what are you going to do that's uh that's pretty much your option there. And then once you've done all of that, you can place your next deck on. And uh, from there on out, you can just complete it however you want to go about completing it. Um, it's pretty much good to go. Now there's word of people saying that cannons will not shoot through the sides of these, that they patched it out. So basically what you can do is you can grab the gun ports so let me grab some of those and you can actually place those gun ports it's kind of hard to see but you can place them let me uh let me come over here so you can see there we can actually place the gun port like that and then we come inside though 
and it's kind of hard to see where that gun port is. You can see it like right there. You can still place a cannon there. You can still open the gun port, but people are saying now that the cannon won't actually shoot through that with the AI on there. It used to. I don't know if that's still a thing. So this may be something that you have to deal with. Your other option is where you want gun ports down here. You leave those chunks of armor off. It's just a trade off you're going to have to make. Now, you don't have to destroy everything. You should just be able to like remove certain pieces um, and be fine. If you go doing that, though, you want to make sure this builds a little finicky than our others. You want to make sure that you have half walls supporting places where you're going to take it out. So, for example, if I was going to take out this one here, I would try to get a half wall in here somewhere like that. And then I have one right, well, actually, no, we would try to fit one again. Let's see if we can get one in here. Something like that may secure the piece a little more. And then you can go removing like this piece here. And you can see that that popped out okay. And then we should be able to remove this one as well. If I can catch the actual gun port or the roof, I mean. And then... Well, you can see there what happened is we lost a large chunk of our armor there. So you would have to leave that exposed in order to do what, you know, in order to put your gun ports in here. The other thing you can do is since you have the armor going down the sides of the ship, you can skip doing the gun ports and you can just build uh, structures like this on top of your, your ship here. So I'll show you real quick. We'll just build one, uh, take it down to here, and then you can actually put some wall across here if you want, and then you would line the top with ceiling pieces, and then you can take these and you can do this, and then you can put the cannons here. So then you can like line up cannons here, and uh, then you can put your AI on the cannons there. So that's another option. You're adding a ton more weight to your ship, but that's the give and take with armoring your ship. So if you want what you see here, you have to sacrifice having cannons down below. Um, if you want cannons down below, you're going to have to sacrifice some of the armor. I honestly don't mind the cannons at the top. They function just the same, except you don't get that slight weight reduction that you get when you close the ports, but you know, that's up to you. But yeah, from this point on, you can just build it out however you want. You're armored up and good to go, and you can just customize it with whatever sails you want to use and wherever you want to put your, your people and whatever, you know, your person and your steering wheel and all that stuff. You know what I'm trying to say, but yeah. So that is the armored brigantine build. Uh, you'll have to let me know how it performs for you, how you like it. I know it's a, it's a behemoth. It's expensive to build, uh, but it should get the job done nicely. All right. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.